the Russian Orishnik missile, a Mach 10 hypersonic beast. Let's follow its terrifying journey from launch to impact. Stage 1 launch. The solid fuel booster ignites, hurling the missile off its mobile launcher. Within seconds, it's already supersonic. Tearing through the lower atmosphere at over 1,200 km per hour. Mach 1. Stage 2. Boost phase. The first stage roars as the missile climbs past 20 km altitude, accelerating towards hypersonic velocity. More than 12,000 km per hour. That's Mach 10. Stage 3. Stage separation. The booster drops away, falling back to Earth. The second stage lights up, pushing the missile higher, thinner air above 50 kilometers, and climbing. Stage 4. Midcourse spaceflight. Now in near space at 100 kilometers altitude, the Orishnik arcs along a ballistic path. At this point, it's racing across continents at more than 7,500 miles per hour. Impossible to intercept. Stage 5 MIRV deployment. The nose cone splits open. Up to six MIRV warheads deploy, each locked onto separate targets. Every warhead is now its own missile. Stage 6. Re-entry. Re-entry begins. The warheads slam back into the atmosphere at Mach 15, wrapped in superheated plasma as they dive toward Earth. Stage 7. Terminal phase. Impact. Even with a non-nuclear warhead, the Orishnik can deliver a strike equal to several tons of TNT, enough to flatten hardened bunkers, airfields, or entire city blocks in seconds. Armed with nuclear payloads, the devastation is unthinkable. From launch to impact in under 15 minutes, the Orishnik missile is one of the fastest and deadliest weapons on the planet. Please subscribe, and thanks for watching GeoCritic.